In the shadowy underbelly of Toronto, an urban legend took root a killer, known only as the final thought killer he preyed on those who dismissed life, took it for granted, or harbored unspoken regrets. His method was gruesome, his ritual sinisterly specific, and his motive unknown. His victims were ordinary citizens, lured from the streets, never seen again until their names appeared in the news, marked with a headline no one wanted to read. Witnesses, though rare, described him as calm, eerily composed, and obsessed with the television show The Jerry Springer Show. His ritual was as meticulous as it was chilling. He would lock his victims in a basement, dimly lit and lined with stacks of VHS tapes of the show. Bound to a chair, each victim was forced to watch Jerry Springer episodes on an old, flickering TV screen. Each time, just as the show reached its conclusion, he would pause at the brink of Jerry's final thought segment. With a smile that held no warmth, he would lean close and whisper, What do you think the final thought is? Panic-stricken, each victim scrambled to answer, knowing that their survival might depend on it. Some tried to be profound, others guessed randomly, but all responses failed to satisfy him. Their fate was swift and horrific. By dawn, the city had one less citizen, and the final thought killer remained untraceable. But one man, a teacher named Daniel Marshall, lived to tell the tale barely. Days before his abduction, Daniel had idly watched an episode of Jerry Springer after school, one he'd never forget. The night he was kidnapped, he was already terrified as he faced his captor. But when asked about the final thought, something clicked. With calmness he didn't feel, Daniel said good. The killer froze, his expression faltering for the first time. Silence settled between them. The killer stood, muttering a single word to himself, good for the first time, he let a victim go. Daniel stumbled out, left alone, alive and bewildered. One hour later, a 911 operator received a call with nothing but eerie calm on the line. A voice, barely a whisper, reported the location where Daniel could be found. Before the operator could respond, the voice concluded, take care of yourself and each other. Then silence. For years, the authorities dismissed it as myth, branding believers as conspiracy theorists. Yet whispers persisted. The tapes somehow surfaced, circulating through dark corners of the internet, fueling suspicions about the final thought killer the Canadian government denied involvement, denounced the tapes as fabricated, and labeled those who claimed otherwise as delusional. Yet, in the face of official denial, the mystery of the final thought killer endured, leaving a chilling reminder some legends are grounded in terrifying truths. Make sure to like and subscribe.